What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Movie Emporium's Netflix original movie review of Marmaduke, the newest film from director Mark Tempe. Now before we begin, if you like this video, awesome, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium, hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome, hit that like button as well as commenting below on any video that you watch, including this one. So Marmaduke is of course based off the Brad Anderson comic strip that appeared in the newspaper. It's about that rambunctious dog who caused all kinds of problems for his owners as well as the neighbors, had a, you know, a friend cat and stuff like that. And it basically sees Marmaduke literally getting obedience training. That's what the synopsis of the story is. He is getting obedience training by this like very posh, very, you know, overzealous dog trainer who thinks he can like, you know, put Marmaduke into a very obedient dog and finds out that's not entirely possible and not what he expects and then it becomes a story about Marmaduke basically being the underdog and having to go against these other dogs who are, of course in the you know the uh, Westminster style kind of dog shows where they win prizes and medals and stuff like that and it basically be it's a story about the family trying to get Marmaduke to settle down and entering him into this contest. So it's a very simpleized story. It's very much a story for kids and it is a, in essence, a Marmaduke story. You know, like I said, rambunctious causes a lot of problems. So Marmaduke is actually one of my favorite comic strips. It always has been. It's up there with Garfield and of course, Family Circus and Peanuts and of course, you know, Calvin and Hobbes as stuff that you would always enjoy reading on Sunday on the newspaper and stuff like that. Back in the day, it was usually only like one panel of Marmaduke doing some crazy things, but it was always just a fun read. You know, you take a few seconds, you read it, you have fun. That's what the, that's what the comics back in the day were, you know, purpose to do. So them adapting Marmaduke into an anime movie or a live action movie is not like it's the worst thing in the world, but as we've seen through Garfield and stuff like that, they never truly what I call live up to what the comics always presented because the comics were very simplified. It's like when you do a video game movie, the video games usually seem a lot better than what the movies present. And so with that said, when they released the Marmaduke live action movie a few years ago, it was pretty awful. It was lowbrow. It was stupid. It was just not really that good. It was actually pretty terrible. One of the worst things that I've seen that year. So I was pretty, uh, what you would say, saddened by that. And I never expected them to do another movie. Or if they did, I expected it to be a TV show. And so with Netflix doing their spending billions and billions of dollars, it seems like on just whatever they can get their hands on, it wasn't really that surprising, even though I was not really happy about it, that they were turning this into another movie. But it was going to be an animated movie so at least that was something and so i will say this for a positive for this film that's you know now appearing on netflix it is definitely better than that abomination that came out of like a decade ago that was marmaduke uh that movie is just bad in all senses of the word but that's all i can say positive about this movie this movie is still really terrible um this movie is definitely a movie that you give as a distraction for kids uh this is a family film that is not really meant families it's meant for like three the subset of like five to you know preschoolers it's a movie that they'll put on for like 90 minutes to distract the kids so they can make food or talk on the phone or use the computer use the bathroom whatever they need to do to get their things done but parents are gonna be like what am i even watching it's just not a very well put together film it's not very well directed the animation style is pretty terrible and the voice work you have like pete davidson and you have, who's playing marmaduke and you have uh, David Koshner and J.K. Simmons and Mary Hart. You think they would at least bring something competent to the table, but instead it's just a movie with a bunch of fart jokes and just a bunch of over the top like nonsense that just doesn't have any semblance of uh, fun in it. And on top of everything, it took me like two days to watch this film and it's only 90 minutes long. So that shows you that's a pure problem for somebody like, you know, that's an adult, you know, you're gonna go and watch this movie going, yes, it's Marmaduke, I love Marmaduke, I love the comic, and realize all you're getting is just another poorly edited, another poorly animated uh, Netflix animated movie. And I just, I feel like that's just, it's such a it's such a problem with the, when it comes to their animation style. I never found myself really engaged with this movie at all. I never was engaged with the story. It literally like jumps into the story from the get go, which is fine. Origin stories are fine to not have in these types of movies. In the end, it's just, it's not a very fun film. It just very boring and bland and the characters are just the and just everything about it just doesn't work like once again it is definitely a film that's not for me when it comes to the style and 
what it takes when it comes to animation films, but there are so many better films out there when it comes to animation and kids films and family films that do justice and do much better quality than this movie will ever do. And it's just, it's such a shame because I really do think, even though I say sometimes I don't think, I do think like Marmaduke could work as like a TV series or something like that. But just as a movie in 90 minutes and doing what they're doing, you know, there's a moment where like Marmaduke farts and it becomes like this gas cloud and they try something cool and inventive, but you saw it in like the other guys and stuff like that. And it just, whatever. I, I didn't really like this movie at all. It's one of the worst things I've seen this year, to be fairly honest and it's right up there with <laughs> Back to the Outback where it's just, I question the money that's being spent at Netflix sometimes, but in the end, if you want something as a distraction for your kids, if you want something to put on for 90 minutes so you can want to look on your phone or whatever, uh, this is the movie for you because you're not going to get anything out of it. The Marmaduke character is once again just kind of ruined and should have just stayed on the comic strip where it belongs. So it is what it is, but I put this right there, like, right, right there with like Alvin and the Chipmunks and Garfield and so on and so forth. So but that'll do it. That'll be my take on Marmaduke, the newest Netflix original movie based off the comic. Uh, comments below. Let me know what you think of this movie if you decide to see are you looking forward to it did you even know this movie existed because they haven't been promoting it very well let me know but otherwise if you like what you see on this video hit the subscribe button to join movie emporium hit that notification bell top to find what's coming next if you like the video awesome hit that like button and uh we'll see you guys on the next video peace out